So welcome back to French Countryside Life. It's going to be a busy week this week. Um, I'm going to get some more chickens hopefully on Wednesday morning. So I need to get the chicken run um, separated to put the new chickens in and keep the older chickens separated from them. Um, and just knock up quickly a little coop for them uh, just to keep them separated. Uh, only for a week or so and uh, otherwise there'll be punch-ups. We can't have punch-ups with the chickens. All right, so um, I'm gonna put the shutters to the side, to the side just, for, um, just for today and crack on with getting the chicken run squared away. Tuk tuks. So this is just laying in the field. It's an old uh, dog kennel, I think. So we can make use of this. So I thought we'd seen the last of uh, these old kitchen door shutters, but they're gonna have a second life, albeit brief, is the floor of the new temporary chicken coop. As I said, it's only got to last a week or so. So at the end of that time, I'll break it up again and uh, it'll all get recycled. So let's just crack on and get this put together whip it over and we'll attach the, the old dog kennel with some angle brackets that I've got. Actually Jane's got, I'm going to nick them so don't tell her. Um, yeah once we've done that I've put a little nesting box in there and a couple of uh, roosting bars and uh, that'll be good to go and um, end up with another chicken coop that weighs half a tonne. So there's a theme emerging. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's the two shutters put together. They'll form a base for the new chicken coop. So we'll just whip this over. We're in good shape to uh, put the chicken coop on top and attach it to it. Mate, that's heavy already. All right. We'll see how we go. Right, let's get the uh, dog kennel. Let's get it in and uh, see how that fits on.
There you go. That'll work. Right, so uh, we'll set about attaching that to the to the base there. See how we go. All right, so um, that's all done. Um, my little door. Got a little uh, nesting box in there. Somewhere from to roost at night. So um, yeah, jobs are good, and it does weigh half a ton. So. Going to transport it over to the chicken run so the chickens can get, can get used to it. And um, yeah, just looking for Wednesday now to go and uh, get some new trucks. So let's get it over there then. Okay, so um, it's, yeah, so it's got the Florence seal of approval. She likes it, so it's all ready to go. So we've just got to hope on Wednesday uh, the chickens are available and we can go and buy some. So I, I, yeah, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Good. Okay, so the plan is uh, to. S separate this into two so put some chicken wire from here to a fence post here to this one and under there to the fence and this will be like a little flexible gate so we'll just be able to move that out of the way yeah that's the plan Stan so uh, that's my next job Okay, so any idea what these are? I keep seeing them about, I've no idea what they are. There's one over there. This is on a postcard. So it is Friday, and of course, nothing ever goes to plan, does it? I think it was Mike Tyson said, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. So, we've got some duff information on the uh, chickens, uh, the chicken seller. So, boy, he's having a sing up out there, aren't he? <laughs> yeah, uh, we've got some duff information on uh, the chickens, and um, we went to the appropriate place at the appropriate time, and um, no chicken seller. So, what can you do? And um, I was supposed to go to work this morning got up and it was chucking it down with rain, chucking it down. So that was that, hopefully working this afternoon. Good, all right, so take advantage of the, uh, of the disadvantage and carry on with uh, some more work on the shutter. Um, I'm gonna grind down the, um, all the rust and the old paint on here on these uh, hinges and the other little bits and pieces. We'll give them a scrub up with the um, with a wire brush. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Let's get on with that.
Okay, so uh, that's all those nice and clean. Next job is to clean the shutter locking device, which is this long metal bar. Okay. So if you look close, you'll see that these are quite roughly cast. You see? That's the cast jaw in there. So I think I'll tidy these up a bit. Like I've done with this one. Just make it a bit a bit neater and a bit nicer. Good. Okay, so you see that that's just uh, taking, uh, taking the burr off of it. I think that'll just be, uh, just look a little bit nicer when it's back on the shutter. Good. Okay, then that's everything prepared for painting. I need to uh, go and get some red oxide as an undercoat before the gloss black goes on. Next thing to do is to mark out the shutters themselves from my extensive notes. So, not looking forward to doing that really, because um, I don't know really why. Anyway, it has to be done, so I'll just get on with it. So that's all the doors marked out. Uh, all the door furniture is uh, laid on the um, in the correct positions. Um, got to wait till the shop's open again so I can get some undercoat, as I said earlier. Um, so we'll get all these painted. Got a special guest here today. Pete's here to look at his Hi. shutters. Hi all. <laughs> so, um, Fantastic job. Good. All right, so we'll leave it there for today. So thanks for watching, very much appreciated. If you'd like to give the video a thumbs up, share it on social media, and press the notification bell. And all that leaves to say, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. No, I'm kidding. Mine, there you go, and I'll see you soon. 
Au revoir. <rire>